What's up, fam? My name is Jay with Daily Delinquency, back with another video, and today we're gonna be fully modifying this limo. You know who is design, bro. That's right, you know who's right. Delinquent <laughs> design, <laughs> that's right. The way I'm living, I'm gonna die to shine and make a thing what I need. All right, so we have our Starlet headliner kit, which consists of 1,200 pieces, I believe. Uh, two channel along with the meteors, the shooting stars in it. So that should be pretty cool. And then our limo project box, including the brushed aluminum vinyl wrap for the all the wood grain that's in there. Nice. We got some Oracle fiber wiber, fiber wiber, fiber wiber, wiber wiber fiber wire for the door panels to accent lighting and then we have some fold down 10 inch TVs for the back where the headrests are and then we have some upgraded uh, 11 and a half inch monitors for the sides <laughs> Ace has already started to tear apart the headliner and it's going to be a project because this is all kind of pieced together it's not a standard typical headliner and a lot of this is just loose so we're gonna have to really get creative with this so the idea is to replace all the ambient lighting with the Oracle upgrade the TV size we are going to be adding RGB dream color lighting under here for some ambient lighting we're gonna be replacing those and we're going to be adding the RGB dream color in the giant uh, Lincoln logo in the center piece. Wish us luck. Well, there you have it. <sighs> Let's get to fabricating. All right, a little quick update for you. Uh, Ace got the uh, entire headliner out of the car. This is the original headliner from the car, part of it that was cut. And the rest of the headliner was just that. Yeah, fabric. So that's not gonna fly for a Starlet headliner. So we had to do some last minute fabrications and Ace picked up this uh, sheet of particle board that we're gonna use as a something to stiffen it up. Uh, we're gonna do it in two pieces. Then we're gonna put this stuff. It's like uh, velvet. Faux, faux fur. Faux, faux Alcantara velvet. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be using. And then uh, what's your game plan here, boss? What's up with the stripes in here? Just giving it a little bendies for around the corners. Oh, we're gonna mold that so that it lines up with, with these hard the contour right here. on the rest of the headliner. So this is gonna be fun. I mean, we can test fit that super easy to see the width. Okay. If you want to do that first, yeah, and see what your thoughts is on that, and I can show you some of the things I was talking about. Okay. Decision making wise, we have all that nonsense you brought here, so it's actually going to be good for something instead of you just hoarding it here and me kicking, falling over it. <laughs> Check out how far we got so far. Look, this is going to be a good before of what we had to deal with. So it's uh, pretty much gutted for the most part uh, for all the stuff that we're going to be installing. So, yeah, spaghetti. All right, guys, this is where it gets complicated. This took a lot of measuring, and uh, it might look a little crazy right now, but it gives us a guideline for where these two overlap. If you'll see, we did a spray paint line, so that way we know exactly where this is gonna overlap once the headliner is complete. So that way when Ace drills his holes, uh, these can mesh together for the starlight, and uh, there won't be a funky gap or look crazy and weird. So hopefully that plays out well. In theory, it should work out just fine. This might not be the right way to do it, uh, but uh, hopefully it works out and looks good. All right, we got this thing blocked off into four sections, and uh, we have 550 stars for each section that we're gonna try to do as randomly and as best looking as possible. We kind of got it mocked up where our centerpiece is gonna go, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and test out shooting stars, the meteors, and we're gonna test those on the test bench real quick and see what they look like. Let's check them out, baby.
guys, check it out. The headliner, the crafted, created headliner that did not exist before uh, is pretty much done for the most part. We got the neoprene, we got the headliner base, and we got the velvet on here. Ace has spent hours off camera running all these stars, including the meteors, and got them all labeled and on different channels and ready to go. So now he is moving on to the other piece, which is the only piece of the stock uh, headliner that's left. Um, and we have to do this in two sections because of the way it's set up. This is just the neoprene on here. We're gonna go ahead and get the velvet on here, suede, velvet, whatever you wanna call it. And then he's gonna go ahead and start running the stars in this. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to these door panels that uh, desperately need some attention. We're gonna clean them up, fix them up, and we're gonna take this wood grain out. And I'm going to wrap this in brushed steel vinyl and then put some Oracle ambient lighting on here. Let's get it. So now that Ace has the headliner pretty much done, we got our door panels prepped, almost 90% done. We did all the wiring off camera, ran all new wires, limos are a mess inside, and uh, they're all, <laughs> they're all messed up. We went ahead and ran all of our own wiring to all of the new components that we're putting in here, including all the ambient lighting, uh, the starlit headliner, and so forth. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and install our LED amplifier and our LED controller and run all of our leads for our ambient light before we throw the headliner in. So let's get it. So this is, this is our LED uh, Bluetooth controller and this is our LED amplifier for all of our light strips in the back. This is all full dream color, RGB color changing, color chasing whatever you wanna call it. As you can tell, this is all a complete mess. We have all of our new fuses and everything for our stuff. We're gonna go ahead and run our wires into the back here and uh, go ahead and see if we can't get some of these, um, some of this lighting working tonight. Let's go. So we got all of the wiring cleaned up inside here. We got all of our new wiring ran and uh, it's a lot better. We took all that old crap out of there that we didn't need or looked sketchy and uh, we ran all of our own new stuff. So the headliner is done. Ace finished the headliner. So that is hopefully going in to the car today. Uh, what we're gonna be doing now is testing all the TVs. I got all the new wiring and video cabling uh, done. So we're gonna go ahead and test the TVs, make sure everything works on our new wiring. And if everything works good, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the headliner in. Let's go check that out now. You might be thinking to yourself, uh, this is not cleaned up and it still looks crazy, but trust the process. And it's so nice of you to join us. Yeah, this mounts like this and then this is the fold down TV screen. Management is done up top, got everything out of the way. 
and ready to go. The first section is in. What you think, Poppy? You happy? Yeah. yeah. It's gonna it's gonna come out good. We got a couple of support screws in here where our big centerpiece is gonna go, and uh, she's pretty solid. Get her all trimmed up tomorrow, and then we'll put the second half in, and Ace will run the rest of the stars. But it's getting there. It's coming along. check it out I just got to the shop and uh, Ace had finished the door panels today and uh, I just finished the wiring for the starlet headliner and I'm just doing a test before we trim everything so come check it out come check it out these door panels look so sick they were all crusty wood grain before uh, we got some 3D printed caps to go on those to make them look nice and finished. Check this out. This is crazy. Ouch, this motherfucker is tight, bro. This sucks. All right, guys, check it out. We got the uh, fiber optic wire side trim panel that holds the headliner up. We got that in. Nice ambient blue. We got to set on right now. And, uh,. It was a pain in the butt because none of this was meant to fit with this fat with this headliner it's uh me and ace created out of nothing we got these nice little decorative button screw panels in here uh and I, i'm really happy with the way that it came out it's going to be a vibe in here when it's done and it's coming out great we got the diamond knobs for the drawers here you know just a little just a little subtle touch you know what i'm saying let's get it let's get back to work baby all right we have spent hours upon hours hunched over in the back of this damn limo uh, getting everything wired up but we're nearing the end we're just finishing these uh, wiring these TVs up finished let's go out there and check it out as soon as it gets dark couple more hours and we'll go out there and I'll give you a full tour of everything live and in motion stay tuned Right, guys that's it for this video if you liked it drop a thumbs up if you didn't like it i don't give a damn don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to it really does help us out until then go out there and be a delinquent we out rockstar lifestyle is tatted on my brain i'ma bring the dollars let obama bring the change I'm living, I'ma die to shine and bigger things is what I need.